The Louisiana National Guard is locked in a fight against time and oil here in southern Louisiana where disjointed barrier islands look like coastal confetti from high above aboard a Black Hawk helicopter. In tiny Buras, Louisiana, a pair of Black Hawks are making hundreds of trips to nearby islands, dropping one 1,000 pound sandbag with each flight. The Guard is charged with filling in shallow breaks between islands to keep out the oil. Coastal erosion caused by tidal patterns and hurricanes have left hundreds of gaps. You can see how it's channeling and um, making a channel for it to, to go out. Uh, before all this was open and, and water flowed through the whole thing. So it's, being, it's slowly being channeled and cut off. It's deep in that area right there, so as they drop the bags, they, they go down to the bottom. They have to drop uh, quite a few before it starts stacking up. Mm -hmm. and where you can start seeing the bags out of the water. Oh, when they blow the sand, it's being like being sandblasted. Feet staying wet all day long. And that's, that's the majority of it, but other than that, it's, uh, it's all right. We wear our vests. You can see we wear our vests on land, and we don't take our vests our, our vest off. And if the bags go underwater, they just they just on the water. We, we, don't, we don't send them out into the currents because you see how fast it's flowing? In no time you get swept out. So, so Katrina, Rita, and Gustav, but it was the first time I've ever been on the coast to try to uh, you know, sandbag uh, a beach to uh, cut off a, a, a inland. The work is unprecedented, but these are desperate times. Protecting Louisiana's wetlands is vitally important to this state. Reporting from Buras, Louisiana, this is Joseph Goodman of the Miami Herald.